Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for 11 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share 1 John 3 verses 11 to 15. Here's the word of God. For this is the message that you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. We should not be like Cain, who was of the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil and his brothers righteous. Do not be surprised, brothers, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed out of death into life because we love the brothers. Whoever does not love abides in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. 1 John 3, verses 11 to 15. And here's the poem I wrote based on those following verses. Whoever does not love abides in death. The love of God is the reason why we have life. Without the love of God, we will all die. The Lord made heaven and earth and all humans. It is for his delight that we are all created. Let us therefore abide in God by walking in love. If we are His, we will follow His commands and abide. Whoever does not love abides in death. He does not know God, so he will always be in the dark. When someone loves God, he will be hated by the world. Because the ungodly loves sin, he will abhor God's word. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. No one who hates someone will live forever. Let all those whom God elect choose to walk in love. For God is love, and whoever loves has the Spirit of God. When love isn't present in someone's life, there is all kinds of chaos, disorder, and strife. Cling to the Lord by meditating on His Word. Follow His commands, and you will triumph over the world. Reflection what did John mean when he said that whoever does not love abides in death? And why do you think John calls someone who does not love a murderer? So we're not talking here of physical death. What he means here is if you do not love, that means you do not abide in God. So when you don't have God in you, you live in a dark in darkness which is death spiritual death so the absence of God is spiritual death so meaning if God is love the absence of love in one's life is the absence of God in it therefore it means that you are spiritually dead you have no life in your spirit <clears throat> so why do you think John calls someone who does not love a murderer that's so it, it, it's so harsh to hear that, but really, when someone is not loving, they are they they are like killing someone. In other words, that's why probably he calls it a murderer. So <clears throat> when you do not have love, you will have all kinds of sins. You will scheme. You will follow your sinful nature to covet and to get and obtain what you want uh, and you do not care about other people so that seems like a murder somebody who does not care who does not uh, connect with others who does not love who does not who does not genuinely uh, have the interest of others at hand is a murderer because when you are a loving person that is the opposite of like killing someone so in other words when you don't love you kill someone else's feelings you kill someone else's existence so in a way it's a form of murdering so when you don't love you say bad things about other people and that's another form of murder so when you don't love you abuse others because you don't care about their existence so that's murdering as well so that's 
why I think John calls someone who does not love a murderer. So thanks for watching. I hope you would reflect on these verses and uh, look at your life and examine it according to the word, what it says, that when we do not have love, we cannot we, we cannot exist in in a loving way so just like in in first corinthians paul is saying that if you have everything but you do not have love you are nothing you're like a noisy clanging cymbal or a noisy gong so let's walk in love and let's abide in love because abiding in love is life Thanks for watching again. Please check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos and bring you the Word of God so you can reflect on them deeper.